Hello again, everyone. It is here, Black Knight. And I'm going to try. I mean, it's going to be tough. I'll be perfectly honest. It's going to be tough for me to do. But I'm going to try to get into a couple more of Bruffy's streams now that I've been in one briefly. And uh, that was fun for the, the couple laps that I had before the computer froze. That was a, that was a thing. But I, I decided to review my fleet a little bit in case... Uh, both fleets. In case something comes up, you know, where they say, oh, you need to use X car. Then I have everything kind of handy. Now, as far as kind of mid-range sports classics, I think I'm set. I have stuff that would look cool and would work well. You know, I've got, I've got enough rally cars. I've got other rally cars. Lots of rally cars. We decided to go bizarre. We're set. If they decide to do a Weevil race, this isn't really perfect for that yet. And this is, this is my... Well, it's not my only Weevil. Hmm, I could keep this as the good-looking one and then slam Dave's. Although I plan on keeping Dave's mostly stock. And then race, race in the... You know, we could, but we could... This is the, uh, the love bug. The trick of the matter with these cars, though, is that there is a problem with them, and I guess I should... Is that you to, for them to be at their best as far as handling, you need to slam the suspension, which doesn't, generally speaking, look good. Where did I put Dave's? I mean, we could do that at any time. Like, essentially, I'm going to have to get the, the maximum camber on whatever one I'm going to use. <coughs> so if I have the English Dave car, that's a thing. I could slam that. But I did put a spoiler on it and, and upgrade it. I don't know where exactly it went. Yeah, it got the wheels. The wheels going. I put the English Dave one. And is there any more room in that? In that garage? Because the, the trick of the matter is I need a little bit more garage space. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. Let's see, where is it? You see a weevil? Weevil. Weevil. Weevil, 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 weevil. Well, of course, that's that one. I mean, you know, it's... Yeah, well, it shouldn't be in any of the office garage or the Polito Bay facility. I don't think it's in a nightclub garage. Is it in an arena workshop? That's probably... Let's, let's see here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Okay, I don't know if it got enough room. That's maxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have one more space in B1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could put it in either of the next card, in either of those two. And that'll probably be pretty convenient. Not in the penthouse garage. Not in the arcade, I don't think. Exceptionalist's way? There's a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That weevil is I'll get pretty back to well work. maxed out too. Let's head. Let's head over to Exceptionalist Way. Exceptionalist Way is on the way to the uh, the workshop. I'm really low on parking with this thing. Let's see, that's oh, that's there's interesting times going on over here. All right. A jet fighting an oppressor mark douche. So I'm kind of making a decision here to keep the love bug as is. I've thought about going with the other paint job with the numbers on them. I mean, it's kind of. It's kind of like this. I mean, this matches the paint scheme, but doesn't have the number on the side. 
There is a paint scheme with a 35 on it, which would be, I believe, opposite the 53 that, it, that the love bug was, if I recall correctly. We're driving you know, the English Dave version on screen. We go past here. Does make a statement. It means that you know you hey either you've bought one and per you're pretending to get the English Dave car, or you've completed the mission. You've you've done the Kopec date heist at least once. And you've got an English Dave's car, which is what I've done. Who here? I'd love to know what Brunsky fucking so good means. I mean, it's probably funny. See, it seems like the Herbie car with that little bit of wobbliness kind of fits. And it wouldn't be right to not, you know, do the classic Herbie Wheelie. And it's hard to keep it going, especially with a keyboard. I think you need some partial throttle control to really pull that off. This will get sent back to the garage shortly. So here's the English Dave. Now, this is utterly stock except for the standard power upgrades and the and the spoiler. If we're going to put the spoiler on, then I guess it really doesn't matter if we slam the thing for maximum handling. And yes, it does look like hell, but... Why am I doing this in a public session? Eh, because I'm not doing anything really, really all that financially risky here. So we're just going to repair a vehicle. You know, you can see this point with the trends. You know, turbo's there. Suspension. To get the best handling, you need to do the goofy suspension, which is really unfortunate. But now at least I have a Weevil that's ready for racing. A race weevil. And so I hate to do this to the Herbie. And I guess I could do it to both. Just so I could use either one. I don't know. Herbie never slammed down like that, I don't think. You can see, there's problems with this. It clips through the fenders. Does wheelie. Now, for, for Bruffy Streams, Comet Retro Custom, that's a good choice to have around. Burger Shack comes up once in a while. Piss Foster Dominator is one of those things where there's going to be a Piss Foster Dominator race. So I'm set with the Root Beer Special here. And that's, uh, we've got the Root Beer colored paint on that. So we get the Root Beer Special. Yeah, you know, those, these, these aren't going to probably come up all that much, but... The Pariah. Pariah is going to come up every once in a while. ETR one, that is that is ready to roll. I, I do need to give it, you know, the its proper paint job at some point. I do have to come up with something. I'm still not. I'm still debating, but it is ready. Now let's leave the Slam Daddy bug here and take the ETR one. 
ETR one's an interesting car because, like, I really love the look of it, and the performance is not bad to drive. I mean, it's got a lot of grip. It's a grip monster. It's gonna get blown up, isn't it? Okay, challenge time. Can we get away from here? Fast enough that we're not zapped by an oppressor Mark Douche. The ETR one's pretty quick. It looks like he's engaged with somebody else, so I mean that's a bonus, right? Yeah, we'll make it. It's totally caught on this guy's fender. It's a beefy little car. Yeah, it's beefy. Vehicle, vehicle, there's vehicles. Vehicles. Let's get it off of here before it gets blown up. And get me into B1 here. So I've got a Sterling. I've got a... <coughs> What the hell is this even called again? Oh, the Z-Type. I had a brain fart there. I had a Z-Type. I've got a club, which I was thinking of repainting in the um, in that new kind of blue silver with uh, ultra blue over it. That might look cool. The white's cool too because it looks like a cup from the 90s. I mean, that's just... It is good as it is. Let's save the money. It's it's good. Is it slammed enough though? We have to make sure it's slammed. This is another one. Is the suspension at the lowest setting? I don't think so. I think it's like at the second lowest setting. Nope, that's it. Competition. It's good. It's slammed. We do re uh, respray. Primary and it's metallic. We're already at ice white, so we can get back here if we don't like it. Let's just get up to bluish silver just to give ourselves an idea of how that works. And if you can imagine the ultra blue over it. Yeah, oh, that might be an improvement. It shows off the white stripe more. Let's do it. And then go for the pearlescent. Here's the ultra blue. You know, the, the car doesn't really have the angles for it. To really see a lot of ultra blue. There you go. Well, we're this far. It's a little fancier and dancier. Eh. Or was it better off as Ice White? I don't know. The little hints of Ultra. Do, I, I do like that. You know, it's, and it's, I'm going to use it on the next car that I'm about to purchase. Armor's up. Brakes are up. Engine. We missed an engine upgrade on this. How? Even in the best of homes. How does that happen? Exhaust. Stock exhaust.
track exhaust? Let's put the track exhaust on it. We're gonna go on tracks. Uh, let's see, headlight covers? Uh, hood. Remove hood. I'm going with the vents. Which one looks best as far as the competition hood? Let's go club racing. I like the livery as it is, although we can see if something goes better. That might go better with the ultra blue paint. But it does, is it calling to me? Ooh. The Los Santos Customs. That's almost perfect. That pinstriping goes so well. Douche coal racing. It's really between the original and the Los Santos Customs. Is it the same blue? Does it clash? I think it's better, but I'm going to leave it alone for right now. That's so 80s. I don't know. That's, that's a tough call. Let's do it. <clears throat> More our spoiler options. Primary, you could go primary roof wing. Plastic roof wing. Right. Yeah, a little extra LSC on the. How much, how much, uh, the blue light coming up on that? Does it need more black to balance the, the bumpers and the thing? Maybe. You still get the side look good. Sun strips, sun strips and covers. Yeah, ooh, it does look nice that way. You do get a little bit more of the effect. I give it the sun strip just for the extra effect of the uh, 
of the pearlescent. Love the pearlescent on his wheels. Make sure the tires, you know, like the wheels as they are, but the tires, make sure they're bulletproof. They are. Turb, see, race transmission is there. Turbo is there. Windows, give it the light smoke. Nice. Now we have to make a purchase. I'm going to try to think, where is it? Look at the legend, old legendary. The one thing he said, you know, basically, if you don't have a felser, what are you doing with your life? Like, you need a felser. Okay. Well, I'd hate to show up to a stream without a felser. Assume it's down this way. Hey, it's an ancient car. It's a 2013. There it is. 145,000. Doesn't matter how we order it. We're going to paint it anyway. We're going to put it here. Arena Workshop B1. It just doesn't have room. Workshop B2. New. So I have no parking? What the heck? Um, okay, we can put it in apartment 42. That's fine. And then we'll simply call it in. Yeah, I've got the... Um, I do have the... Oh, we have no room here. Let's take a look at the next garage down. Anything we can move around. I do have the trade price for the Itali RSX, but I've got no interest in driving something that's really understeery just to have. So we got some. We do have Briosos on tap if need be. Sentinel Classic, another rally option. An Itali GTB, which I still have yet to figure out why Ruffy 1322 is so in love with the Itali GTB. It's, it's nice. I've not seen anything that really made me say, yes, this is the car. We do have the slower Penumbra. Or no, this is the Penumbra FF, that's right. We do have another slower Penumbra somewhere else, but here we got the Penumbra FF, so that's an option. Wait, did we win this one? That might have been won. We won that on the wheel. And then you got, of course, we need Anita GTO. Let's make sure this is 100%. I'm starting to think that some of these, these uh, modifications are disappearing on me. Like, there's some glitch going on. Because I know in some cases that, you know, well, I feel in some cases that I have done. See, do we have uh, do we have lights on this? No. Let's put the neon kit on it just because. That's supposed to lower your, uh, let's leave it away. It'll be Christmassy. No, I didn't want that. I wanted to keep them modifying there. Okay, the other car is available. Windows, light smoke. I don't know why I'm on a light smoke kick as a way. It's got, it's got turbos. All right, so it's probably okay. Pull up the tires. Turbos there. Transmissions there. Suspension. Let's slam it for the heck of it. I mean, I, I, on this one, I've normally. Try to leave a little bit of ground kick clearance because it's a bit bouncy. Yeah, that's, I think I'm going to stick with that because it is the GTO and it, you probably need a little bit. Let's see, a little bit of room. Okay, let's take this up to 42. Yeah, I'm going to be lazy. There's a tank on the way. 
That's 42. Okay, well, let's... Let's take our lives into our hands here because... Content. I can see myself having to extricate myself from this uh, lobby. If these guys can park a car, a tank next to where I've got my Feltzer, which I need to upgrade. Just a typical lobby, yeah. Who's flying? That's somebody flying straight across. Where are they on the road? I don't even know. Okay, I don't see the tank. Did the tank disappear? And the Felter's the other car that Ruffy goes on about. There's that. There's... See, none of the cars here. I mean, this is pretty much obsoleted by the club. The original Rio, so... These are all useful. Of course, this one over here was I grabbed just in honor of Death Red, too. If you haven't seen that yet. So nothing critical, but we need to trick out this Felter. Can you... Can I change maps on here? Browse... Q... Yeah. Select... Switch view caps. Now, for playing this game for years, didn't know you could do this. So you could look at the map from inside a building. Years. So there's the tank. We better move while he's not at Los Santos Customs just yet. It'll take him a while to get there. I mean, this thing's insured, obviously, so we don't have to worry too much about it, but we. I can see him looking on the map, finding me in Los Angeles Customs and waiting for me to come out and blasting me, but I'm okay with that. Let's see what happens. Let's go through this armor. Brakes. Full up brakes. It shouldn't be too bad to, uh, to modify this. All we're really doing, yeah, all we're doing there is adding the canards, which... Why not, right? Might as well add the canards. Carbon rear diffuser. Does that make the car a little wider there? Or is it just... Not really. It just adds a bit of flare. So we're going to do that. I guess it makes it wider as if you really lose the taper. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't... It does... Uh, I don't know if it adds to performance or just weight. Fenders, vented wings. That will give us more surfaces for what I plan to do paint-wise, which is the... Again, the same paint job I gave with the uh, club, which I'm kind of on a kick with that now. Headlights, give it to Xenons. The end layout, front, back, sides. The end color, we're going to go crew. But I think crew matches pretty well with that. My crew, at least. Plate. 04 Nizza 665. How about Black Knight? Into what color should we do it with? Well, we'll see when we get to the... The respray. Primary color. Metallic. Again, we're going up to the... Uh, the bluish silver. Shadow Silver might even work better. Maybe Shadow Silver is what I should do with the other club. 
Hmm. Yeah, shadow silver. Because the blue silver might be that might be the that might be the actual thing. Is this that shadow silver with the um, yeah, that's showing off the pearlescence a lot better. Yeah, this is more what I was looking for with the other one. We're going to go back down and redo that. Fix the club. Look at that. I mean, that's just... See, now that, see how much more of that is? That's just... Could be the lighting in this Los Santos Customs versus the other one, but I think that's the way to go. We're going to try that out. Roof. Roof vented headlight cover. Do we want that? Well, we go for maximum trickage, I guess we might almost have to. Spoiler, now this is a big thing. We got the low level spoiler or the freaking ultra wing. This is going to make it a little more tail happy because of the weight. Just a little bit more. And this wing matches the paint job, so we're going to go low level. Suspension, slam it because reasons. Transmission, race. Turbo, obviously. Wheels, obviously wheel type. Off-roaders. Do we want to go chrome or stock? I can make the, I can get myself really blue wheels with this. Or we can just keep something chrome. I feel like the car begs for chrome. But the paint job begs for blue. Yeah, the Dune Bashers might be good. Five stars are always good. Ooh, we have some. This has some of the extended options. The, the Avalanche, the Bridge Climber, the Concave Five. Concave Five is nice. The Flat Six. Drag Specials. Oh, concave rally masters. I never really go with the the rugged snowflake. It's those. I think concave rally masters. Then you back out wheel color. Get down to the blues. You want to go baby blue? Baby blue kind of matches. Bright blue's a little bit over the top. Fluorescent blue clashes. The baby blues. Oh yeah, it gets with the baby blues. Tires. Um, tires. Stock tires, custom. I don't really. I'm not sure. No, that doesn't. That just looks like it changes the tread. Now let's let's do tire enhancements, bulletproofs, tire smoke, crew. Oh yeah. Windows, as always. Any more light smoke? There you have it. I have. My very first ever Feltzer. I've got a, I've got the Feltzer for when Feltzer happens. And we're going to head it back down. I got I've gotta change the paint on that club and see if it's a big difference. Now it's, it's the curiosity's running wild. What the heck that oh, a bit of lag there. Let's get these lag spikes suddenly happening. The night can't. Again, I'm really, you know, in Rockstar, I know it's funny, but you gotta have that, these cars just turbo boosting, suddenly getting huge amounts of speed to lunge in front of your car. What's happening here? If this crashes out, that's just gonna be the end of it. You see, it just suddenly freeze, and then there's no, this is your Black Knight, have a great night. Well, then that's what happened. I'm just gonna remux the OBS and. I'll be that. We will be up that much quicker. Why did that suddenly jump? That's okay. So we're coming up on somebody here. We better do it at speed. Yeah, something is going on there. Ping, ping. Okay. Brakes.
Can't catch the felsa. I can't park it, but I can get away. Back to B1. Going here. Vehicles. Put it back in storage. Now let's change this paint one more time. Let's throw the money at it. So check. You can see it there. Modify. We go to respray. Primary color. Metallic. We take it to... I had it not a metallic. You have to be a metallic. There's shadow silver. I can feel this being better already. Let's take it down. Ultra blue. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big difference. You get a lot more blue effect. I love the uh, the pinstriping from the Los Santos Customs there. That's that's nice. It just exits a workshop so we can stay inside and be nice and safe. So again, I don't know when the next time is I'll be able to actually get in on those. Because it's, it's always tricky because my Saturdays and Sundays are so tied up. But you never know. And it's, uh, it's nice to be prepared. I'm probably going to do the same thing over on the Rusty Jack character. But, you know, I think I'll save that for another video. No point in doing a marathon here. I don't know if I'm going to get to do it today anyway. So... On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.